ladies and gentlemen, you witnessed it after the pain and heartbreak of missing out on him at the end of the last episode. We managed to get one. Some absolute legends in the Twitch chat were listening them up. I don't know who it was. A lot of people were claiming to do it. We obviously only seen two. You know who you were if it was you. You're an absolute hero. And we managed to snipe one of them. And here we go. We're doing it. We have got the best possible combo that we can for past and present Everton for 99 shooting and birthday magic. And we need to get into it. Even though I spoke about in the last episode, Evo Regret. And also, by the way, look at this team. All 89 rated. And he's been in the Galazzo Cup. We'll come on to that shortly. Even though I spoke about in the last episode, Evo Regret with Tarkovsky. And there is still 15 days of Club 99 shooting left. We have to do this one first in order to put him into birthday magic. And birthday magic expires in a day. So we are basically gambling because we could do this. And then there could, a card could come out that could have been better for Club 99 shooting. And I'll obviously have Evo regret and be disappointed. Ultimately, we don't do it. And then we do Club 99 shooting in 14 days time. And we've missed out on birthday magic and it will be begutted because a better player to go into it didn't come out. So I am essentially just going to have to hedge my bets, unfortunately, because we can't. if we could do it the opposite way around, I would. But as you can see, this puts Luckman up to 93 pace, 93 dribbling, doing birthday magic, which makes him have too much pace and too much dribbling to go into Club 99 shooting. It's very frustrating. And you can't even do it this way where you don't claim the last level because it just, just ticks him over to 91 pace, and I'm pretty sure it auto-claims now anyway, because they fixed the Evo glitch. So unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess it is, it's a, it's a happy time, we've got him, we've got a guy who's so good through this Evo combo that he's extinct. We're just going a little bit against the grain of our Evo logic of how we do our Evos on this series in order to not miss out on the good ones, but if we don't do this, we would be missing out on one of the best Evos that we can get that has played for Everton so far this year. So, with that in mind, we're going to jump into it, and we're going to spend 75,000 coins to get ourselves this Adamola Luckman. 99 shooting, finesse plus, and ridiculously good dribbling stats with lots of pace as well. We will then take that Evo once we've done our three squad battles, our two rivals or champs, which we're going to do today. We're going to play some foot champs qualities with Luckman in the squad, which is exciting. Try him out and work up towards this one. We'll get 99 shooting and finesse plus. We then go down to birthday magic and pop him in here. And we get ourselves, after some more champs games that we'll do this weekend, a 90 rated. In fact, no, he won't be 90 rated. He's higher rated than that, isn't he? Because he gets a boost from the other one. Either way. Very, very exciting times ahead, and I am just talking my way around in circles because I'm so excited by it. So we're just going to jump straight over to it. We're going to pop him in there. We're going to click start the evolution. And we are going to pay our 75,000 coins for Club 99 shooting Adamola Luckman. Here he comes. We actually got one. Very, very excited. We also have a bit of a decision to make with the other birthday magic because... We need to get this Luckman done and get him into birthday magic. But we also need to choose, because there's two of them, our second player to go into it. And I think the player that I'm going to choose, and we're going to start the Evo for now, so I don't forget to do it tomorrow, is going to be Chloe Kelly. It's a free Evo. She's played for Everton. She's passed and present Everton. And it gives her Rapid Plus, obviously. And she's already got Whipped Pass Plus. And it gives her five-star skill moves. That looks like a very nice card. Again, for the past and present Everton team. Good play styles, quick step normal, technical normal, and rapid plus with whipped pass plus. I am looking forward to trying that out when we get this Evo. So, in order to not miss it, I think she's the best one that can go into this. In fact, I'm certain she is because I've been looking through all of these combos. We're going to start Chloe Kelly as well. Welcome, Evo Chloe. Good to have you in the team. Very nice. There is a couple of other players that we could do it for. De La Feu, who is our backup option for the 99 shooting combo, is the Luckman. But I think we can just wait and there might be a better Evo because he's got no play styles. Maybe one of the ones that comes out that gives two at once could be quite good for De La Feu because I did like De La Feu when he played for Evan. So that's pretty cool. We've got them two done. We have got this Luckman to work our way through. And like I said, we've been playing in the Galazzo Cup. Now, I didn't show you this because it's based on your rival's form. And if we go over to Div Rivals, I don't actually play Div Rivals, so I'm in Division 9. So I'm basically going into the cup, playing against people who've got good squads, you know, because they get involved in the game, they do the objectives, they do the SBCs and stuff, that's why they're in the cup. But they're not very good at the game. And I'm just going in and winning like 4-0 and stuff like that. 
So, I didn't include that in the video, because it is essentially just bullying and we might get demonetized. But what I have done is unlocked this Peter Crouch whilst we've been working through them. And the reason I rushed to do that this morning is A, because this card looks funny. Let's be honest. B, Miss, yes, Mission Merseyside, make your jokes, fine, whatever. But he's, what is Peter Crouch? We'll see now. He's like six foot seven. And for some reason, it's not showing his playstyle pluses on the cards there. There they are. He's got Power Header Plus, Aerial Normal, Bruiser Normal, Acrobatic Plus, Magnetic First Touch, Technical Plus, <laughs> 94 Jump and 89 Strength. Actually quite good agility and balance. Really good shooting. He's fast and he's six foot seven with five star weak foot. It's just hilarious, to be honest with you. And it's just absolute jokes for playing fun squads and messing about in foot champs and just having a bit of a laugh and trying not to take this game too seriously. And there's an Evo that's about to expire in six hours, five hours now when I'm recording this video. And there's a few players that you can put into it and it's mostly just the crappy Galazzo heroes with the arrow down like this is the crappy version of Berbatov. We could upgrade him. We've got the good version of Berbatov. This unfortunately is Dempsey instead of Donovan, otherwise I'd do it on him. So I think we just put Crouch in it for a laugh, to be honest with you. We did it with a Kanji because there's no Everton players to go into the showdown upgrade. We may as well put somebody into it. And this is what it turns Peter Crouch into. 98 jumping, 93 strength, 99 head and accuracy, 91 pace. Again, five star weak foot, six foot seven, and all of them crazy play styles. We may as well. There's nobody else to pop into it. The one player that's very good to go into it actually is Marquez, the center back Evo. The centre-back SBC, sorry, you then Evo him, and it makes him ridiculously good. But I ain't spending 350k for a centre-back. When we've just packed Cumping in the last episode, we've got Bramthwaite, we've got Van Dyke, we've got Akanji. I don't need another one. So I'm going to get Crouch. We've got seven days to do that, eight days to do that. Calvaloon's been done, and we've got one day to do this Luckman, because then we need to get him into this one that we've got Chloe in. So... Three squad battle matches you guys don't want to watch in this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and quickly play the three squad battles off camera. And then we'll come back when we've got rivals and champs to do for the objectives. And we'll do these ones in our foot champ squallies. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back. Level one has been complete. The three squad battles are done. We will claim that upgrade and get ourselves... Plus five shooting. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're going to 99. I don't know why I'm surprised. But it's just immediately a huge jump. Then you get... 10 shooting, which he's only going to get plus 4. And then we get 10 more shooting and finesse shot plus and power shot. Unbelievable. What we've also been doing whilst we are doing that is you can see we've got Dutch players in our team. We got Van der Sar back in. We got Van Dyke back in. And obviously we have Dan Juma anyway to unlock the Van Persie objective just because it's good fodder. And we've got packs and content to open for you guys as well that have stuck around after me waffling about the Evos. So 83 times 10s, 85 player picks. We need to play some games for Luckman, which is going to give us more packs. And we're kicking it off because we had a bit of dupe fodder with a team of the week pick. If we get Luckman now, it is going to just be... We haven't. We've got Erdegaard and Vlahovic and Hummels. It would have just been the most painfully ironic thing ever. But... It wouldn't matter. We could just use them for fodder again. Anyway, packs that we've got. A small Electrum Players pack that we've just got for doing that SBC. We will just grab the fodder to fill the club up. We've then got a 83 times 10 and 84 times 4. Go on, let's do skip packs for them. What have we got? All right, 384s and an 85. And then the 83 times 10. Before we go and do some more 83 times 10 and some 85 player picks is... A load of, of fodder. Cool. Most of it duplicate and tradable, actually. So we're going to use these, I guess, to do maybe some exchange packs or some 85 player picks. So let's go do that. 85 plus player pick number one, then. We've just put Trent and Weir in to get that. You need to get back on the trade pile, Pareo. We'll use Pajor and Smallen for the second one. What have we got in this one? Anything special? No, but an all black who's 88 and it's probably going to be duplicate and tradable. Yes, all right. Some serious fodder coming out of these. And there we go. There they go into that. And out comes to pair up with Oblak for some fodder. Ooh, an inform Fowler. I mean, she looks quite good. And I'm pretty sure she can go into that 99 shooting Evo and get Power Shot and Furness Plus, which is pretty nuts. But we've obviously already used her on Luckman, so we'll just take her for the fodder. Now the question is, what do we do with Oblak? Probably just pop them into an exchange SBC. There is squads to do... 
for the one and only David Ginola. We've done four out of 16. And he is an 88 rated player, to be fair. So maybe we could chip away at one of the 87 squads. We've got to do it eventually, so we may as well, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I've got actually quite a lot of higher rated untradeable fodder in the club. It's the 81s and 82s that I'm really, really running low on, which is pretty standard when you're always forgetting to do your daily gold. So I need to make sure I do them. But all that goes back into the club. We've got ourselves a Prime Electrum Players Pack, and then we can do two more 83 times 10s as well to try and stock up more and more and more and more fodder. So it's pretty good. Club's looking all right. And that Fowler gets sent straight into an 83 times 10 because we might get it back out of it again. So it's sensible. Always use your informs from the current team of the week. First, at least, anyway, if you've got them. Because there's a high chance that you'll just pack them again. And then you don't have dupes that you're struggling to use. You can just go back into your club. What have we got in this one? French? Oh my god, please. Please. <gasps> oh, I thought it was going to be like the main channel. Oh, I thought it was going to be like the pay-to-win account. That would have been absolute scenes. Okay, Griezmann and Ruben Diaz. <laughs> Imagine. Back-to-back -back days packing Mbappe would have been unbelievable. What we'll do with them is pop them straight into a Ginola squad. Because we got Ruben Diaz as well, we now have enough 89 fodder to do an 88 squad from Ginola. So we are slowly but surely chipping away at it. It's a very expensive SBC. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to afford the Ginola that's better. Even after being out for a week, he's still chilling at around like three, three and a half mil. So that is completely out of my budget. If I sold my check, I'd be able to afford this one that I'm doing the SBC for, because he's like a mil. I'd have like 1.5 mil, then we sell all the fodder. I reckon I could get to two, two and a half mil at a push if we sold everything in the club. But I don't think that's a very sensible thing to do, even if Janola come down to two and a half mil. There is still some very expensive squads to do for this, but we're getting fodder of such like Van Persie for doing these. And we've already got some other crazy high rate of fodder. Obviously, some of it is gold cards, but stuff like this 93 Georgia Stanway, we've got a 92 Muller that we never play with anymore. Majri, again, never goes into a team. Kane never goes into a team. Vern is insane. Francescoli, never going to use him. There's, there's stuff there that we can start to do the 90 rated squads with, including obviously golds like Courtois and Lewandowski and Van Dijk and stuff. So not too worried about being able to do the huge squads. We're just slowly chipping away at it and using the dupe fodder where we can. And then there's some pretty easy squads to do, like an inform and an 85. So we are almost halfway through it in terms of the number of squads done, but I don't think we're halfway through it in terms of the coins because we've got a 90 and some 89 squads to do. But... What we do also have, I believe, is one more 83 times 10 before we jump into foot champs. We do. So let's do it. Let's grab ourselves one last pack and see before team one for Galaza goes out. Maybe we can pack that Ginola. Here it is then. Any specials for us today, eh? We haven't had a single one other than an inform yet. Left wing, Man City, Hemp, Foden, Foden. Okay. Dangling special cards because it's untradeable, EA. No. What a terrible 83 times 10. Okay. Let me jump over to the squad then. We've managed to get Luckman onto full chemistry by bringing back Sauer and using Xabi Alonso by dropping Rolfo back here. So we've got crap loads of icon chemistry, basically. And then with a Nigerian Serie A manager, he gets full chem in the team. And he's just a straight swap in for Timo Werner. Just because I quite like Berbatov. He's fun to use. Everyone in the hand's got Werner. We can throw Werner on as a super sub anyway. And Luckman gets to play up front. We'll keep Dan Juma and Claudia Pina at camp. We'll carry on playing 4 2 And we'll have Luckman and Berbatov up front whilst we do the Evo. So, with that in mind, we need to play, I believe, two games of champs. And we need to win three. That includes squad battles, but we'll just do it in champs. We'll do it in qualities. So, let's jump into game number one and see what this normal Luckman card's like when we play against actual humans. Should we have a little record... Look, see where he's at. Check. What's our start on points? Because he's obviously been playing squad battles for me. Okay, eight goals, five assists in three games. So we can ignore 13 goal contributions and see how he gets on at the end of Foot Champs Qualies. Oh, somebody's got a red, I think, Evo'd Peter Crouch in our first game. That is cool. We obviously need to work on that Evo once we finish doing the Luckman ones. Hoping for a good first performance from him. And if he's good now, without the 99 shooting and without the playstyle pluses, 
He's going to be so good when he gets them. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> no, that is just bullying. You're messing. <laughs> that, that is why you don't use Vandasaur. <laughs> That is also why you don't use Vandasaur. Because I have Vandasaur in my squad for the Dutch. That also, this Peter Crouch, did he just use his leg, his foot, to get the ball when it was four miles up in the air? <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Right, I am messing about. This is chump squally. We do actually need to win. But I'm never in doubt, really, of getting four wins out of ten games. But the faster we do it, the better, because then we can jump into actual champs as well. Oh, hello. This guy's good, you know. Oh, my God, Van der Sar. We are getting absolutely bullied by this Peter Crouch, by the way. This is ridiculous. Go on, Luckman. Oh, oh, that's why you don't use Van der Sar. No, Luckman, you've just blocked it. I'm paying money to Evo, you. <laughs> Oh, no, not again. Don't switch me off, Van Dyke. Why have you auto switched me off him? This this crouch is ridiculous. Oh, my God. It is funny. Oh, no, I've missed the ball. Thank you for not switching me off, Van Dyke. It is funny, chat. Like, it is hilarious that it's Peter Crouch, but it is incredibly one-dimensional the way this guy is doing it. Like... At least have a bit of uniqueness to some of your attacks, you know? All right, well, that is a terrible goal. But we'll take it. It's two all. That is why you don't use Van der Sar. That's what this game is. Uh, to be fair to Van der Sar, that is pretty standard to do a power shot, to cancel it, sit the goalie down, dribble round him. That happens to every goalkeeper. But I am very anti Van der Sar in this game. And this game is a testament to why. Oh my god, Van Dyke, please jump, bro. Please. Oh my god. I've even moved the keeper into the middle. Like, as I said, I respect it, and he's doing a very good job of it, but it's the only way this guy... And like, I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to get Crouch, and I'm going to do the same thing. But it's the only thing this guy does is just boot a long ball to Reese James and then try and cross it to Crouch. And then I get the ball back. And when he gets it, he boots a long ball to Reese James and then try... Like, have a bit of fun, mate. Have a bit of variance. It is funny that Crouch is scoring, but Christ. Come on. It is boring for him, mate. Come on, don't be silly. Oh, my God. This Crouch is a joke. Luckman for redemption! There we go. That's why you don't use Van der Sar, as I keep saying. <laughs> Go on, the Queen! Go on, the Queen! Uh oh, uh oh, not again. Not again, Pedro Porro! I just can't even stop the bloody crosses. And then when you do stop the... Don't... Oh, my God. We can see the five goals to Peter Crouch. <laughs> He's going to score. He's going to score. He's going to score. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to score. We're going to extra time. This is mental. I need to get this Crouch in my team. I want to know what formation this guy's playing as well. Because I really struggle when I'm trying to do a cross to one of my strikers. Especially when I had Hoyland in the squad and David Beckham. With the big striker actually being in the middle, he's playing Crouch. Oh, of course. He has him left centre forward in a 4-3-2-1, and he only crosses it with Reese James. That makes sense. Oh, it's oh my God, Pedro Porro winning. It, it auto-switched me onto Pedro Porro then. I need to turn that off. That one, that one wasn't even Crouch. That one wasn't even Crouch. As this guy's Reese James got six assists in this game. 
This is crazy. It's like playing against Prime Iron Robin. You know exactly what he's going to do. And you just can't stop it. Oh my god, he stopped it. Oh, he still nearly scored. Bloody hell. Go! Oh, come on! Lemphies are done. We criticise him sometimes, but he's done the business there. How is it six all in four champs, Collies? <laughs> Come on, Timo Werner Cheese. How is... I have Davies. And I know he's not as fast as he should be. But my Werner just wouldn't get the ball out of his feet. Oh my god, six all. What a video this has been. We've got a penalty shootout in champs, Collies. This is tragic. Van der Sar! Oh, Van der Sar. Oh, dearie me. <sighs> Come on. Crouchy to miss the pen would be poetic. Come on, Andy. He's going down the middle. He's going bottom left. You don't save them. You don't save them. He saved it. <laughs> wait, wait, how many goals has he scored? Four, only four. As many as four. I thought it was more than that. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to crack on with some more foot jumps. That video has gone on quite a while now because I didn't realise we are about to play a 120-minute six-all game of foot jumps, qualies. So I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully, with a much further evolved Adam Miller Luckman.